To graph the data, once you have placed it in your data tables, you need to do the following. Make sure when you set the data up, you do not put letters in with the numbers. Just have numbers in there. Also have the correct labels. That'll make it quite, quite a bit easier when you graph. So to graph this first set of data, you're going to highlight the data that you want to graph, which includes the titles at the top and the information in the table. You're then going to use this button, the insert chart button, and lots of options come up. The option that you're going to want is the column chart, which is a double bar graph. You're then going to go to customize. This is going to allow you to add your titles and labels as required. So we're going to call this one the volume of gummy bears before and after liquid. Liquids. And then you hit, you'll notice it'll pop up, hit enter. So then you'll scroll down a little ways and you'll see horizontal axis. Horizontal means across the horizon. And that is going to be your type of liquid. And then if you look at the other one, you are going to, oh, you're then going to change the axis to the left vertical. And if you look there, that is the volume and it is in centimeters cubed. And you can use the caret symbol to show cubing. And that's um, shift six. And then you do insert. And there you go. And you can move it right over so you can see it. Um, all right. To do the second set of data, you're going to do exactly the same thing. Highlight the data. Click on the insert chart button. Choose the column chart. This time you're going to see something a little bit different when you hit customize. So you're going to have to do a little bit different. This is the mass. So we have to title it still mass of gummies, gummy bears before and after liquid. And you're going to scroll down until you see where it says axis. The horizontal axis is still the same. It's the type of liquid. The vertical axis though needs to be changed a little bit. So the vertical axis, you're going to put your title in, and this is going to be your mass of gummy bears in, and we're massing it in grams. You can put that in parentheses, geez. And this time we want to make the minimum zero, because we want it to go, right now it's going for my data, 1.8 to 5. My tallest bar is about 4.6, so I'm still going to have it go to 5, but I want to start it at zero. And then I hit insert. My second graph is right there. 